Hey guys, Mammy Matt Fishing here. So as you've probably seen, uh, the unboxing of the Garmin 93.7, uh, sorry, the 93SV, uh, the EcoMap Edition. We're actually installing it now, so I wanted to do a quick video and show you what's, what we have done so far. Um, there's little things that we've noticed that we have to go to the hardware store and all that. So I'm gonna give you little bits and pieces of the installation and things that I think will be very important for you to know before you install, um, or little tip and tricks before you install your Garmin or any GPS unit for that matter. So if we come over here, I'm gonna show you what I've done. We're, we're pretty much putting the the transom mount here, okay? So this is where the old one was, and then this is where the new one is for the Garmin. So I shifted it because these are pretty loose. So I just put a uh, marine sealant, okay? So the marine sealant is pretty much, uh, it's 3M marine, marine adhesive sealant. It's a fast cure, it takes about 24 hours. It's a white one, there's clear. Uh, I use the white because I wanted the 24 hours to get out there and fish quicker. Um, with that being said though, I used the drill bit that was, let me make sure. I used the drill bit first. No, actually first, I used the piece of paper that it came with the Garmin. All right, so what we did here was tape the gar tape the piece of paper. It's like a kind of a a stencil, or not a stencil, a uh, marker. Okay, and you see how the corners have to be at the bottom, and you tape it, and then you kind of make a mark where those screws will go. So it's very important to use this. I was very helpful. Thanks to Garmin for putting that in the box. And then what we did was another tip that you'll see with the Garmin is. I took off the tape, but if you can see here, maybe with the sealant, I put it here. When you have to drill in, or use the drill bit and drill in, actually put a piece of tape on, uh, kind of you have to measure the screw and put the piece of tape on there. So when you're drilling in, you're not gonna go deep, or you're not gonna, you're gonna stop where you need to stop. So that piece of tape idea was great, and that was very helpful, and that was able to drill into the boat right here, where the, transom mount is right now we're going to attach it all as you can see the wire is going to run up here this boat is not i'm not going to put the cable in the boat i'm actually going to run it up and through the i'm going to run it up here and then through the back so just letting you guys know that uh, i will not be drilling a hole for the wiring to go in so it basically my line is just going to come up right here okay as you can see uh the old transom mount it was the old transom mount was here and the wire went up here so I'm gonna probably add something here or just let the wire kind of go straight up but so so far that's the tips that we've been learning um, you got to make sure exactly where you're gonna put the hole and where you're gonna put it because once you drill it you're done the cool thing about the Garmin though if I want to move it up and down a little bit I just have to I just have to loosen these screws right here and then when I loosen these screws I can just push it up or push it back down so that's the cool part about the Garmin um, with the transom mount so we'll keep you posted and uh, I'm gonna probably switch back, uh, do clips of these and then I'll put them all together on a video. So with that being said, uh, we'll see where the progress leads. You good? Mm -hmm. All right guys, so this is where we're gonna go ahead and install this part, the transom mount, I guess the mount that's gonna hold the transducer. First of all, we're gonna go ahead and just attach it. a little aggressive with it be gentle I had a nice and easy there but I wanted to show you guys how to do it there we go you want kind of want to level with the bottom of the boat and then we're gonna go ahead and what you're gonna do is put the so you can get your screw you're gonna put the uh, I guess this is the, uh, oh man, it's called the, what is this called? The washer. Thank you, the washer. So we're going to put the washer and then the rubber washer. So you're going to see right here, we're going to put the washer and the rubber washer. So those are going to go first. And what I'm going to do is put a nice little bit of marine sealant right over here, right on the edge. I didn't think it necessarily needed to do it, but it's telling me to put some, so I'm going to go ahead and put some not too much and then I'm just gonna install it right here on the side push it right through and then 
I'm going to go ahead and just put a little bit on here. Just enough. And then I'm going to turn. And then I'm going to get the drill. Oh. Now you got to be careful because my drill is an action drill. Okay. So then basically you guys are going to have to make sure that this is all tight and set. I'm going to tighten up right now. Just uh, trying to finish up here um, a little quicker. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten this up. All right, guys. So what we did here, we put the transducer on the transducer mount. The washer. So the transducer on the transducer mount. The washer goes first, then the small screws. And then you're just going to have to line it up and make sure it all fits in. Uh, we recommend a, a smaller screwdriver so you can get your hand in there. And then those things happen. <laughs> but basically, that's how it's looking so far. And we're going to do about six of those. And I think we'll be done. Make sure you put your cable. You're going to have to have a small loop. And you're going to put your cable through here. And then we're going to run it up. All right, but so far, so good. Hey, guys. All right, so we pretty much finished ahead of time. I wanted to get it done. It was raining, and it, uh, it was hot. So we just wanted to kind of get it done. So I couldn't do step-by-step -step videos. I uh, ran into a little problem with the feeding the wire through the boat. The cable for the old wire broke, so we had to makeshift and come up with something new um so with that being said we kind of i'm going to show you real quick what how we wired the boat or wired the trans the transducer to the gps and i'm going to show you the mount we used and everything on this um on this 93 sv so let's go ahead and i'm going to take the camera and show you real quick so for starters this is this trans this is the mount that we got okay so the mount, all I had to do was screw in the four screws here. This is the, the RAM mount that I bought. Okay, it swivels right here, so I can actually go to the front of the boat if I would like. As well as, remember, down below here, you're going to have to go to the hardware store and buy, I believe it was like three-eighths screws um, and then some butterfly knots. And you'll be able, make sure they're stainless steel. That's the only thing. What was it? 8x32 screws so as you can see right there I put the screws in and then the butterfly knot and they're all stainless steel so you don't have to worry about getting corrosion or anything so the cool thing about this mount and I'm going to show you the Garmin soon all you have to do is unscrew this and it swivels that way you want to tighten it up and if you would like to you unscrew this part okay and you'll be able to swivel to the front of the boat. So while we're at the front of the boat, I'll be able to see what's going on while we're riding. So instead of buying two GPSs, which I wish I could afford, I decided to do it this way so that I didn't have to worry about, I didn't have to work. I can actually for right now use it as both the GPS here as well as the fish finder and then the fish finder in the front of the boat. So now wiring, what we ended up doing was going so yeah I attach the back so let's start with the battery so what I decided to do instead of fiddling with a lot of the electricity for right now I bought a small a small battery it's great uh, 12 volt battery that's great for um, for GPS and fish finders I mean this this lasts me the whole day when I was on the John boat with my other Garmin so this I pretty much I'm gonna buy a smaller box and drill a hole in the box so that the wire feeds through and it's a simple and then I bought some heavy duty velcro and I'm going to velcro it in the back right over there the box itself so what I'll be able to do is just take the battery with me and charge it inside and just make life easier and I don't have to worry about running out of battery for like just running out of battery in general I can just that will last me all day so. I don't know how that GPS was working I mean that wire was destroyed and I don't know but when we went to go ahead and pull it and feed it through, it broke. So I had to make shift something, and that's what I did here. So what I'm going to show you real quick is I unscrewed this part right here, and I fed the wire, as you can see, down below right here. So I still have to screw it in, and I fed the wire through here where the handle is. 
and I fed it underneath. So as if you can see here, I actually have a tape back here and I actually have them taped or there's a way you can do a Velcro or tape. I decided to tape it down and run the wire through the back. Now, this is an old piece of the boat. This was for a fishing rod holder. I will be removing that. So what I'm gonna do is make sure this is gonna fit tight right here. And then I zip tied it from here, here, and there. And then I drilled a piece of it. Let me see real quick. And I drilled a piece of it right here. So I actually had the clamps that came with the Garmin. So I just drilled it right here. This is where the old one was. I, I wanted it up more. So I put it right here with some sealant too. And then as you can see, it, it runs down. So let me actually get off the boat. Try not to fall here. And as you can see, it ran right through here. And then what I ended up doing was, I know people are gonna probably hate this, that I cover the tracker, boat logo and all that, but you know what? I'd rather catch some fish. So I basically did the same thing with my, let me see if I can zoom in, clear it up. You can see there's all the sealant right here, but I screwed it in and I attached the wire nice and tight so there's not any loose drag. And then down below right here is the transducer. The transducer is big and I ended up moving this a little bit up so I can be flush. And as you can see, this is the position. There's the motor and it's on this side. So then this is how, I don't know if you want to see this angle, but it is attached this way. So that's how I ran it. Uh, and then now it's actually time to turn it on. So once I put the battery down here, I'm gonna Velcro it again back there. So, you know, it's a little makeshift, but it's uh, it'll do the job perfectly fine. And you can see back here how it's all connected. It runs through this back, so it's out of the way. Someone can perfectly sit here comfortably, not bothered by the wires. I need to add a windshield eventually because the person before me broke it off. You can see the power, the sonar, and then this is the panel, uh, what is it, the panel picks. So eventually, maybe one day I'll add it on, okay? So this is a great uh, way, and the cool thing is you're gonna detach the actual, you're gonna detach the actual radar, or excuse me, the actual GPS off, so you don't have to worry about it. So for right now, Let's go ahead. Let's see about this. And turn this garment on. I'm very excited. I haven't turned it on yet, so let's see how this is gonna work out. That'd be kind of bad if it just fails on you. <laughs> As you can see, there's my flash. I'll try to point it up this way. There you go. It works solid, so I'm really stoked. I mean, and the cool thing with this is the way it's positioned. I'll be able, sorry for the crazy movement. You know, I'll be able to have it here. Uh, I can actually move it out a little bit if I would like. So then actually, if I have a drink in my, you know, if I have some water or something I want to put right there, I can. So I just have it right over here and everything's out of the way. So uh, let me agree. There's Mr. Bill Dance over here. My boy. Hence why we wear the tennis. He wears Tennessee hat. I wear my Miami hat. You know, got to be a proud alumnus of it. And uh, yeah, guys. So pretty much this is how it looks from the back. And very excited to basically very excited to have this all work out. It wasn't easy, but a couple trips to the hardware store, it worked out perfectly. So I'll put this video together. Um, I hope this helps. So I'm going to do the unboxing video and this. I might combine it to one video or two videos. Uh, you'll When you're watching this, you'll, you'll know. Um, but with that being said, this is the final installation of the Garmin uh, 93 SV Eco Map. So I'm very, uh, very stoked that it all worked out. And then we'll see how it is when we take it into the water. So... Um, but remember guys, just go ahead and follow, so follow me on Instagram at Miami Matt Fishing or on Twitter, Miami Matt Fishing. Uh, they told me I couldn't add the G at the end, so I had to make shift that as well. And then, uh, guys, remember the fishing.com is coming out. I think the release is coming out in a couple days. So it's a kind of very exciting moment, uh, to see how that works out. And fishing.com is, uh, it's going to be a, hopefully a good partnership and a good friendship when it comes to that. So I'm going to stop talking. Remind, remember to subscribe and, uh, have a great one guys.